Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 19th of 2025 is titled Charon Flyover from New Horizons. So, what do we see here? Well, yesterday we looked at a flyover of Pluto from the New Horizons spacecraft. Today we are going to look at another video, and this one runs about one minute, that will take images taken by the New Horizons spacecraft in July of 2015 as it passed the Pluto and Charon system. Now, these are almost a double dwarf planet because Charon is a very large percentage of Pluto's size. In fact, much larger than any the moon of any other uh, planet or dwarf planet relative to the size of the object that it orbits. And that's the next largest would really be our own moon orbiting Earth. So it's about actually half the size of Pluto. Now, as when we look at the video, we will see some of these images that were put together showing some of the images that were taken and putting it into a complete flyover. Now, some of the things have been enhanced, so the heights are a little bit exaggerated from what you would actually see to emphasize what is there. And some of the coloring is as well enhanced so that you can see that. So, as we begin the video, let's go ahead and start it playing, and we'll start off with, we see a very large chasm going across the surface of Charon. And there, as we go past it, we can then begin to see various different lighter and darker colorations, which are correct, and we see a lot of impact craters and mountainous areas. So, various mountainous areas, but also a lot of long stre stretched material chasms and cliffs that are scattered around. And that's very interesting for a smaller object as to why it is so active and has so many unusual features. We come towards the darker section and you get a very unusual coloration there. Unfortunately, most of that hidden by the nighttime side of the moon, and therefore we can't really see it. And then we come around again, more cratered regions as we come back around again and look toward the other side. So very, much more cratered than many of the regions on Pluto. Pluto, on the other hand, had a lot of uh, different types of features. Charon, being a little bit smaller, does not have those same features. So, as we look at the video one more time as this plays, we can again see some of those very unusual features for a relatively small moon in terms of sizes to the solar system, a lot of larger mountains that are visible, uh, various different some kind of structures within the surface, and of course, as we would expect, a lot of impact cratering. Now, the other thing to remember is, like with Pluto, everything we see here is icy material. Now, the ice can be water ice, which is the typical ice we're used to seeing, but you can also have at these very cold temperatures at this point in the solar system, things like carbon monoxide and nitrogen are also ices. They are completely frozen out. Pluto does get a very thin atmosphere when it's closer to the sun, but as it gets farther away as it is now, that atmosphere will freeze to the surface at, until Pluto comes back in in another couple hundred years. So that was our picture of the day for May 19th of 2025. It was titled Charon Flyover from New Horizons. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Volcano Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.